continue on NBA TV in Las Vegas as we welcome you to the 8th annual NBA Vegas Summer League. And tonight in game three of the four games we're going to be watching this afternoon, it's two teams from the Pacific Division as the Golden State Warriors take on the Los Angeles Lakers. As we welcome you to the campus of UNLV, we are at Cox Pavilion. A couple of days from now, we're going to be also over at the Thomas and Mack Center. I'm Joel Myers. Alongside, you know these guys, Steve Kerr and Rick Fox. And we get to see the highest draft choice on the floor with the Golden State Warriors. They're one of the youngest teams in the NBA against one of the oldest teams in the NBA and the Los Angeles Lakers. And, and everybody felt Harrison Barnes truly fell into the lap at number seven of the Golden State Warriors. Couldn't have worked out any better for the Warriors because they needed a three-man. You know, you look at their roster, Steph Curry, the point guard, They've got Andrew Bogut now. They've got David Lee. So they've, they've got some pieces, but they needed a guy who could shoot the ball from that three spot and fill that role. I think they were thrilled to see him drop that far. Right. It did really fall into their lap. And speaking of physical guys for the Golden State Warriors, because they do need help when it comes to rebounding, their second round pick. Everybody said he could have been a late first rounder out of Michigan State, Draymond Green. Well, he's a, a guy who's probably ready to play in the NBA right now. You know, one of those rare guys who actually he sticks around college for four years uh, these days that's so rare but uh, a, a great college player somebody who just does it all just kind of a winner you don't really know what position he plays but he rebounds the ball he makes plays for other people he's unselfish he's smart uh, so I'm really excited to see Barnes play and Draymond Green both. It, it's uh, it's going to be fun tonight. And one of the positives in the Vegas Summer League is bringing the draft choices from last year and maybe even the previous year here so they can implement the system to the youngsters. And Clay Thompson is going to be there. And boy, was he a sharp shooter down the stretch for the Golden State Warriors, their first round pick last year. Yeah, he's uh, one of the bright young players for this organization, shoots the ball so well. And you, you start thinking about the shooting ability of Curry, Thompson, now Barnes, who's really a more a jump shooter than anything. Rick, you're a North Carolina yeah, guy. What, what, I, were your, what was your take on Barnes? I, I was. Uh, I thought it was time for him to go. Yeah. I definitely thought it was the right uh, move to step to the next level. I, I like his chances with uh, the Golden State Warriors. They're a young team. They do they do play a lot of perimeter oriented basketball. But he's got some uh, guys to build around with him too there. And his dad, you know, Clay Thompson's dad's uh, Michael Thompson's in the stands here. Got to say hi to Mike. Number 60, not Mr. Irrelevant though, and that is Robert Sacrin. As Golden State will control the tip. Monster games, and especially from beyond the arc. Harrison Barnes in his pro debut, a little bit strong, but right back after it. Goes to the line, looking for the three point play. Get to watch Harrison Barnes and uh, Bradley Beal and Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, all these young rookies, and guys like Chloe Thompson, Thompson who yeah. can shoot it. It's a pretty good deal. Post and rebound. Griffin not close on the attempt. The Warriors' Barnes leaped out, gets the layup. So transition for the Warriors. And uh, believes he is, hasn't even scratched the surface. I said, do you think he's up to potential uh, of the young man? Sir, Andrew Godlock. Now, we did see that. That's in his repertoire. Thompson, D3, yes. Play Thompson. Play Thompson. And a 12 to 2 lead. And picked up by Azili. Tyler could figure into the plans. He's only a 21 year old from San Diego. He's the third guard as it stands right now. Clay Thompson. Back to back. Ayanga could get the finish. On the run of loader. And a good looking shot by Harrison Barnes, the rookie from North Carolina. Be really good, you know. Can they make that move? They, that franchise has struggled for so long. One of the best fan bases in the league. Next year, I feel like they're starting to get something going. Nobody at home. Azili was over. Physical size to bang. And that's, I think, that's the, one of the first things. Nice recovery. Nice move. Yeah. Clay Thompson coming over to help out. Handle their position, I think, defensively. It's only the second basket of the game for the Lakers. They're now two for two. And Harrison Barnes filling it up. Clay Thompson. Well, you're hoping you get a little bit of magic. That was Charles Jenkins hitting the wide open shot. They have an uncontested looks right now. The Steph Curry, who said recently that he is about 90% following that ankle surgery in late April. 
some good news. The guy who's going to help the defense is Bogut. You know, just some, the shot blocking standpoint, being a force in the middle. There's Draymond Green knocking down the jumper. He's a rookie at UConn. Clay Thompson trying to skip it across. Pretty there. Have to have a body on Clay Thompson. Or he will skip it to the rim. <laughs> And it's picked up on the miss by Draymond Green. Green showing his distance in range. So there is a timeout on the floor. 6.02 to play in the first half. Draymond Green displaying his skills inside and outside. And an impressive beginning for him. Strong start for the Golden State Warriors is a couple of veterans. A little play for the Warriors this year. David Lee, along with Jared Jackson. They'd love to get another big guy, for sure. And there were so few of them there as monsters. When you, when you win a championship, you become really attractive. Harrison Barnes at the free throw line. And an all-round guy. Played saxophone in the band in high school. Sang in the school choir. Did a little bit of everything. And, and he, a, was, he was a participant. And announced his college decision on Skype. He was a... Blake gets ready for his third year as a Laker in his four-year contract after coming over. I think more than ever with the amnesty uh, and the, the luxury. 15-point lead for the Warriors and, and standout performances by well, two draft choices this year and not shocked by the play of Clay Thompson, last year's player that was taken 11th overall by Golden State. Well, Thompson looks good, doesn't he? I mean, that guy can really shoot. He can handle the ball. He can make a play. It can be done with the right coaching. Some of these guys are getting some of the top coaches in the game. Well they're time. developing it. They're developing it. It's so small. Little, little, little I, thought, crazy. I knew you were going to say cricket <laughs> on the island. Cricket was next. <laughs> and we're talking about tennis on the way over. I was a goalie. <laughs> a little cross basketball. <laughs> Well, you know, when you, when you land in Indiana, it's hard not to be in the Hoosiers to pick the game up. So when, when did you move from? The Warriors are going to the locker room with a 14-point lead. As the Warriors shot 53% compared to 26% for the Lakers. And Clay Thompson showing us the skill set that he displayed over the second half of last season. And we're joined now by the general manager of the Warriors, Bob Myers. Your impressions. And first of all, congratulations, Harrison Barnes, Raymond Green, but your impressions of those two. They were great, Joe. We, we need these guys to be good because we're going to use these guys during the season. We expect them to play for us. So Harrison played well. Festus Azili had a, had a nice couple plays in the first quarter. So um, and Draymond Green. Draymond Green is just a great basketball player. He can do so much. So uh, all three of them were good. Now, Clay Thompson in particular. Right. And I'm not objective because I like his father and his mom so much. Right. But Clay Thompson doesn't look like a guy that was only one year in the league. He just looks composed now, comfortable, like his skill set. He knows between his ears he can play at this level. He's got a, he has a, he's one of the best catch and shoot players in the NBA right now as a second year player. And you look at his footwork, it's something that's also underrated. The way he catches it squares up right away, and the shot, every time he shoots, and you've seen him a lot, right. you think it's going in. And there's not a lot of players that are like that, where every time the ball leaves their hands, you expect it to go in. Clay Thompson showed the way early, and he's like a, a seasoned veteran compared to some of these guys in summer league. He's also very smooth. It's just like, does he break a sweat when he plays? It doesn't look like it. Yep. Where do you come up with this stuff? I watch a lot of golf. Yes. <laughs> Clay Thompson takes it away from Ianga to start the second half. Oh, oh man. Both ends of the yeah. floor. Defense. And all his new teammates really appreciate it. <laughs> Isolation. Pretty big talent disparity, though, on the floor between the two teams. Ooh, I like it. You double down on Thompson, and he goes here, partner. Saw some action last year. And on the spin, what a move by Jeremy Tyler on cue. You think it's a, going a little overboard when you're leaving high school early to play basketball? It's extreme. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, you, you really only want to play Nash, you know, 30 minutes. And that's what Alvin Gentry did so well with Steve Nash. Harrison Barnes hits the triple. In order to keep Darren Williams around so that Williams could then try to... Dwight Howard, I mean, the whole thing, Grant 
inches to this thing that go everywhere. Thompson asking. And we'll be talking about it. That shot, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Harrison Barnes tearing it up from the way. Most explosive, talented team. But with this jumper, the mantle hit 24 for play. He's 9 of 13 from the field. Picks last year, 46 overall. Morris was taken 41st for five picks away for each other. As it's Charles Jenkins, and they were impressed with him. So Harrison Barnes, in his professional debut, a very strong 8 for 13 for 23 points, and no shock to see Clay Thompson doing that with the corner three. Welcome back to the Vegas Summer League. It is not All-Star Weekend, and it's not the three-point shooting contest, but Clay Thompson has made it his own personal show. Deep freeze, we saw him get to the rim. And he has been up to 24 points, but how about the Rook trying to catch Clay Thompson and a run for his money from Harrison Barnes with 23 points. And how clean is the shooting for these two? Uh, a combined 17 of 26. And the Warriors overall 11 of 15 from beyond the arc. Teams being played these days. So many teams just playing small, you know, with small fours and shooters everywhere. Chris Wright gave an assist there to Draymond Green on a little dive down the middle. Justin Burrell, a little mid-range jumper. He learned from the best at Michigan State with Tom Izzo. He's going to be an excellent defensive player for the Warriors. He'll help, I think, improve this defense just with his presence. Left hand display by Draymond Green as we discuss him. 75-38 Warriors, three minutes into the fourth. Step back action. Played in Japan last year. A balanced effort for the Golden State Warriors, but really a two man show in the first half. As you see the numbers for Clay Thompson and Harrison Barnes, they have individually outscored the Los Angeles Lakers 47 to 38. As we welcome you back to Las Vegas. And what an impressive. Summer League debut for the Warriors. Clay Thompson, Harrison Barnes, seventh overall selection, 35th pick, Draymond Green. You compare that with Denver and San Antonio. Those two had 41. This is another guard who can maybe take some of the defensive responsibilities away from mm -hmm. that conversation. Well, his relationship with Steve Nash yeah. should help. Yeah. They wouldn't get younger, but they'd get no. faster. I mean, Grant still runs the floor so well. An excellent defender as well. Because not only have the Lakers been in that conversation. Started that two position, I think it made Monte Ellis expect. You say it wasn't. As Dallas Lauderdale fires up the miss, slams it. And yeah, they did the right thing uh, to retire Mully's jersey. Yeah, that was great. Passionate fan base, but now they're building a pretty nice roster. When you look, the pieces really seem to fit. And I think they're ready to make their move now in the Western Conference. It's been a blowout in the second half. It was a 14-point game at the break. By the 95 seconds. What a flip and a bucket by Dallas. Our naked Rakeem Sanders, the rookie out of Fairfield. One guy makes two in a row. The other guys start to feel it as well. And the bench comes in and does stuff like this. The circus shot. Not pulling your car up to the charter plane. Year. Those back-to-backs were brutal yeah. because the league made you take the first flight out right. in the morning. Final shot of the game. Will Griffin get it off? No, and that'll do it. It's over, fortunately, for the Lakers as the Warriors celebrate a 41-point win.